Hi guys, Alan here, Taft's Destination. Got the Eurohike Avon 3 DLX. Three man tent. Now to see a good tent puts itself up. Let's find out. Bloody hell, it does go up quick. <laughs> and this is the back end. I'm hoping. <laughs> Uh, so I can see it now. This is the front door. And there you go. <laughs> First time I'm putting this up, so I've got no instructions or bugger all. Looks like a very well used tent, I'll give it that. Yeah. I'll go. I haven't got much room that side, so they're gonna have to go in this side. In here. Don't force it, just let it, let it do its thing. Oh, I'll show you what I mean now, I just set this to They're all black and then it's got this grey section here, so I'm assuming that's for the porch because there is a there is one that's slightly smaller, so being a newbie, I will soon find out. So if you hear swearing, I've done it wrong. Well, it's not the easiest of tents to put up. It's snagged everywhere here. in. Right, I'll do that one first because that goes over the top. That's gone in rather easily. Where are these dogs? Bye. No, but I know this of me.
What a big tent! I don't think uh, I'll be taking this one backpacking. <laughs> it's tied the guide rope right round it that tight, the pole's not going through it. in that eyelet. No, <laughs> that was a it is some muscles to get in that one. <laughs> right. Pull it back and then I'll use these fantastic pegs to start pegging it out. Which ones aren't bent? Right, this is the, uh, the Avon, the Eurohike Avon 3 DLX. This is it completely up. And uh, yeah, it's huge. It's not the best of uh, pitching because my garden's a bit uneven. But yeah, it's huge. Do with a bit of a uh, better peg in here, I think. Uh, hasn't made much difference. <laughs> right, let's take you inside and uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this is huge. See, the ground sheet gets clipped in. So, yeah, that's pretty good. 
So, first time opening the bedrooms. Let's have a look, shall we? That zip's pretty easy. Got some debris in there for when he went camping, whoever had it last went camping. Wow, oh, this is huge. Really is huge. So, let's have a look in here. <laughs> I'm 5'7 and I feel dwarfed in here because I can just about, well I can't. The hook that hangs your light on, sitting up and I can't even touch that hook. Now I can. Now I can't. <laughs> yeah. This is ginormous. What was I thinking when I thought of buying this for uh, a backpacking tent? Let's just straighten you up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I bought this to go in a backpack. My rucksack and hike for miles and then pitch up and camp. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Always do your research, because I didn't when I got this. There's a stuff sack here for the door. Air venting here at the back. There's, uh, I'll show you now. There's four pockets. One here, one here. And then there's two on this side. And then got you a little bit of a mesh there for your air vent, the rest of it's solid, so yeah, I can see this being a three season plus tent, even a four, but it's carrying it to your, to your destination, so that door there, all that opens up as well as your side door. There is tons of space in here. You know, there's a, a group of you and two of you want to share. It's an ideal tent because if you've got a rainy day and it's absolutely lashing down, there's ample room in there for you both to sit in there, do your cooking. Damn, it's just too big and it weighs 5.7 kilos, it's about 12 and a half pound. <laughs> I might try it for one night, you know, might hike half a mile, park the car, hike for half a mile and see how I go. It's first time pitching this. It was about 12 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. And that was putting the inner as well. So now it all, I'll leave it all connected so it'll just all go up in one. Peg it down and job's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. I bought a new car as well, a big seven seater car. So I'm thinking of Turning it into a bit of a camper as well as tent. But the wife's going to be pretty happy with me because I'm going to have to go out now and buy another tent. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, this is Alan, Taft's Destination. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I haven't been on well, so yeah. So, this is Alan from Taft's Destination signing off. And what I'm going to do now is, you know me by now, I've always got time for a coffee. So, I'm going to go and have one. Take care guys. Ta-da.